It is no secret that an injection mold can be a costly asset, but with so many different variables to consider, it's oftentimes unclear which ones are most important and what a high quality and higher cost tool actually gets you. So today, let's compare a $30,000 injection molding tool to a similar $75,000 injection molding tool and discuss some of the important differences that you wanna keep in mind when making your decisions. Perhaps the most common reason for a difference in price is the manufacturing location but this goes much further than just the place where your tool is built. As tool builders and injection molders here in the United States, Crescent has heard the story time and time again of customers who built a tool overseas, began to scale production with that lower cost tool, and quickly ran into several issues, not only in the repeatable and reliable manufacturability of their components, but in today's world, difficulty getting their parts, and in some cases, their entire tool to the US. While molds built in the US can be anywhere from 20 to 40% more expensive up front, than a similar offshore tool, the story we oftentimes hear from our customers is buy it nice or buy it twice. And when you consider the likely reduction in repair cost of a higher quality tool and the many other variables that we'll look at later on in the video, the total cost of ownership is not nearly as different as one may think. Another factor that drastically impacts the cost of an injection mold is the mold complexity and requirements to produce the desired components. An injection mold is much more than two blocks of steel that are pressed together with a press and filled with plastic. Depending on your part requirements, it could require undercuts, actions, side lifters, cams, unscrewing cores, hand-loaded inserts, and in some cases, an entirely different type of injection molding tool set, like a mud unit or Crescent's proprietary master action frame, each of which have their own costs and benefits to consider. All of these variables need to be considered during the mold design phase, which is another area where tool builders can add immense value before steel is ever cut, saving money in the long run. This includes design for manufacturing support, meaning designing the tool in a way that allows your end component to be manufactured reliably and repeatably over a long period of time. The gate locations and types of gates, runner design, cooling channels, and even material selection of each mold component play a major role here and can all impact the cost. Most injection molds are built of materials like P20, H13, S7, or 420 steel, and in some cases, aluminum may be used for cost-effective prototype tooling. Each of these metals has a different hardness, so materials for components that have metal-on-metal -metal contact should be selected carefully. The recommended SPI class, which are defined by the Plastics Industry Association, ensure that your asset meets industry requirements and is covered under the necessary warranty, with better SPI classes often having higher cost associated with them. Depending on your manufacturing requirements, and estimated volumes, an experienced tool builder may also suggest something like a hot runner or similar system, which has an upfront cost but can reduce cycle time per part cost and improve reliable manufacturing once your mold hits the manufacturing floor. Lastly, if your finished good requires multiple injection molded components, a family mold or molds with multiple cavitations can be used to optimize the repeatable and reliable manufacturability in the most cost effective way possible. By design, and building a family tool, for example, we can take what may otherwise be a costly tool build involving multiple injection molds and combine it into a singular injection mold, therefore reducing the cost in most scenarios. These are just some of the many variables that can impact the cost of an injection mold, and as you can probably tell, it is incredibly important that you have an expert in your corner to make effective design decisions from the start so that major mold revisions are limited in the future and your injection molding asset performs reliably reliably and repeatably for decades to come. If you have any questions at all regarding the differences between a low cost and high cost injection molding tool, Crescent has over 75 years of experience designing and building injection molds. So feel free to reach out to us using the contact information down in the description below, and we'd be happy to help you out. But regardless of where you decide to have your injection mold built, just remember, buy it nice or buy it twice.